Snowpack is the accumulation of snow throughout the winter. We talk about snowpack and we talk about snowpack dynamics. So how thick it is, the structure of it, how fast it's melting. Even the temperature ranges throughout the snowpack, which is part of what we're studying up here on Mount Washington. Here we're measuring snowpack through snow water equivalent measurement. So that is an acronym that we use commonly is SWE. Using um, here, this metal tube right here, which we stick into the snowpack to collect a core of the snow, and then we weigh that snow. We also use a meter stick to collect depth measurements of the snowpack at various places. And so you can create a variety of calculations that will tell you more about the snowpack dynamic. The snowpack sensor we have record temperature in the snowpack at a range of depths in the snowpack. We're trying to understand how the temperature fluctuates throughout the snowpack during melt events, snow events, and then we also use a sonic sensor that measures the snow depth. We already send that data to the National Weather Service and they use that in a forecasting model so that it can give more accurate forecasts for this area, but also different valley regions in general. It's very important in understanding flooding events in the winter when we get those big warm ups, um, those rain events that can melt a lot of snowpack and cause um, ice jams on rivers, river flooding, and that can extend you know, all the way down to the coast. Another one of our master's students is doing his own side project using snowboards where we're trying to understand how snow accumulation on the ground varies given different canopy thicknesses. So we're collecting measurements from six different snowboard sites to test another hypothesis while we're up here. Ironically, my master's research focuses on wildfires in Southern California, so it's quite different from the cold, snowy weather that we're studying here. But I think that stress is that you don't have to only focus on one very specific area of study. It's important to understand how meteorology and climate can influence many different type of meteorological phenomena. It's important to kind of see the whole process. Sometimes scientists just work with data, but I think it's really important to understand how data collection works. So it's really cool to be able to work with the Mount Washington Observatory um, along with Plymouth State. And I think that's a really valuable partnership that we have in the area.